to be a very quick video on how to set up login flow and how login flow works. So I am going to use my external community user for the login flow demo. First thing we have to do is create a flow. Uh, I already have created a flow named flow for login, welcome text. And I'm going to search for the user that I'm going to use as a part of login flow. I have a lot of customer community, partner community user. I'm going to use this user. And I already have a login flow. So it's login flow is very simple. Uh, for the time being, let me correct that log. Let me change this login flow. Something like this. So it is saying, uh, initially it will simply say, hey, do you agree to terms and condition? You can have any text here you want. If someone says, uh, here we have to check a decision, what they have selected they have they selected yes or they have selected no so on the screen element agree term condition is a check box here we are checking false versus true if is everything is true i am creating a log record just to prove the point that dml is possible in the flow and once that is done i'm going to say that hey you have successfully logged in so this is the flow we are going to use and let's say someone has selected no uh, they don't agree we will keep sending to the screen until they log in. That means they would never be able to log into the Salesforce until unless they click on that uh, agree terms and condition. Uh, so let me save that as a new version and that's fine and I will activate it. So this is activated. I am going to use, uh, let me duplicate this tab. I have multiple community here. Let me use one of the community here uh, to test the demo. So I'm going to use category one biking community. And this is the community that we have and the user that I'm going to use is this user, user number 15. And let's log in here. Log in and provide username and password now if you see uh, login flow kicked in and how that's gonna work is once you create a flow here next thing that we have to do is uh, we have to create a login flow so if I go here and search for the login flow you can have a multiple login in your org where you have to say okay what is the type is it a login it is a flow or the visual force page and which flow you have to use so i have used this one and then you have to say which user license is going to be there so i say let's say i say salesforce license then you have to select for the profile so for each profile needs to have a different login flow and that is a, one of the big advantage of the login flow we can control at the profile level my current login flow is controlling welcome message flow is controlling at a customer community user so customer community user so i go back here i click keep clicking on the next next nothing is going to happen until and unless i click agree terms and condition so i say login successful finish but let's assume that if someone successfully has agreed terms and condition, you don't want that login flow to appear every time. So if I go back here, even though I said that, okay, I agree to the terms and condition. And if I again and here, it's irritating for the user, right? That why, why they are using this. So what we can do is we can have some kind of the smartness in our flow. So for an example, you can have, you can have any decision here. I am using very simple decision saying that is the current user is the uh, this username and I have created a formula field basically here saying that what, what is the current user context you can have any formula you want or you can do some SQL here but the point is you can make a decision here and you are saying that if the answer is no if the user is not this user, then only show the login flow. Otherwise, don't show login flow at all. So let me save it and activate it again. If I go back here, uh, let me log out. I will log in again. And I will say, hey, uh, login. 
as you can see that flow was bypassed so hope uh, this video is useful for you thanks for watching